Hi there, this is a uh, quick video overview of a uh, recent Muller e-bike. This is the Homage GT New Vinci model from Reesen Muller. Made in Germany, a very high quality e-bike as you can uh, perhaps guess from the thick, chunky, extremely strong welded frame there. That's probably the most distinctive thing about this bike. Uh, and we'll just take a look, it's a fully suspended frame. You can see in there you've got a, an air shock unit hiding there under the frame which gives you plenty of damping for a fully suspended ride and uh, also an air suspension unit at the front. Uh, these bikes are assembled in Germany at the Ries and Muller factory. They've got a, a factory in Darmstadt which is apparently near Frankfurt. Uh, it's got uh, mountain bike size, 27 and a half inch wheels and uh, continuous, continuously variable shifting. This rear hub there, that's the new Vinci part of the uh, title of the bike. But we'll come to that in a while. So that looks a really well built quality bike, fully featured with uh, mud guards, uh, a Bosch Performance, uh, Performance Line CX, very powerful motor drive, uh, full LED lighting. Uh, we'll just take a look at more of the features in more detail now. So taking a look at the uh, cockpit here. This is the uh, Bosch Intuiva display and control system. You can see you can set your power levels here on the left, simply up and down. You've got your four power levels there from Eco to Turbo. Eco I think is 50% boost so it'll add 50% of your pedalling power right up to Turbo at the top and that'll actually give you 300% assist. So wherever power level you're pedalling at, however much power you're putting into the pedals, it'll add 300% onto that and uh, believe me that really gets you up the hills. That's a, a really powerful motor system. Also if I just toggle through the various displays here, you've got your odometer, total trip, um, total trip distance, clock, maximum speed, average speed, uh, current trip time, That's a, and then you've got an estimated range that's just 16 miles there on turbo setting but if we bring the power level down you can see that will extend to over 50 miles. Uh, that is an estimate, it's just based on uh, the current riding so it takes, takes a f quite a few hours riding for it to get used to your riding style and your terrain uh, to give a really accurate range estimate. Then coming over here, this is your gear shifter uh, on the right hand side. Again that's continuously variable as I said. You can see the little orange hill there in the display box at the bottom simply telling you whether you are in a setting for going up hills, up steep hills. Or more on the flat. So there's no steps with that, as I say it's a stepless system, you simply twist that to the level of uh, gearing, level of um, difficulty you want to pedal according to the terrain uh, and away you go. The only thing to remember is really you have to stop pedalling to let the motor power back off while you change that. Uh, and while we're here I'll just show you these uh, brake levers here, you have Shimano Dior hydraulic disc brakes there. So that's your cockpit. Uh, also, I can just show you the central features here. You have a, a lighting control there as well to turn your uh, front and rear LED lights on and off. Reset button for your trip time and your trip distance and an on and off switch and also the whole thing takes off as a kind of an anti 
anti-theft device and just to make the whole thing look a bit less attractive and obvious uh, when it's parked up. So that's an extremely practical, practical and uh, usable set of uh, controls and displays there on the handlebars. Now taking a look at the front end of the Reese and Muller Homage e-bike. You've got these very nice Suntor, um, Suntor Ion air shocks here, um, various adjustment controls on them. If you can see that underneath there, you've got your uh, spring setting to set the amount of rebound there. You can just set that with your, uh, just by basically twiddling it with your thumb and finger. Then you have a lockout adjustment here, according to whether you're on the road or off-road, or you can lock it out to a rigid fork or open it, open it up to give you uh, plenty of travel on the suspension. And coming round the uh, other side, the top of the forks, uh, there's an air setting there where if you have a shock pump you'll be able to take that cap off and just set how hard or soft the front forks are really according to your body weight and your riding style and the, the terrain you're going over just as to how hard or soft you want the front suspension to be so you've got there a lot of control uh, which should result in a nice comfortable ride to suit your your riding style I also really like these uh, fenders here normally you'll get a piece of steel rod for the state this is some kind of thick rigid composite to hold them in place plenty of clearance so you're not going to get them the stays being knocked and with a with steel stays and narrower clearance as you often get the guards scraping on the tires really annoyingly um, but these these are going to stay in place plenty of clearance for going off-road as well if you get mud and crud in between there so that's another really good practical feature uh, and finally coming to these tyres, these big, I think they're 2.4 inch wide, 27.5 inch diameter tyres, Schwalbit Moto X. They're slicks, semi-slicks you'd maybe call them, so some tread, rated 30 to 55 PSI, so again clearly rated for some softer surfaces off-road trails, fire roads, canal towpaths uh, and I've actually taken them on uh, kind of pack horse trails with a, a lot of mud on over winter and uh, they've been good, they've coped well with that um, so that, that there's the the front wheel features and also you've got really super powerful LED lighting this unit is from Supernova you can see there that's really good, it gives you a really good clear beam in front of you, really concentrated light. Uh, I've used that several times at night and uh, that is superb LED lighting. Powered from the main in-frame battery so your batteries aren't going to run out there. Then down here by the cranks we've got a top of the line Bosch Performance Line CX crank motor system, it will kick in. Uh, simply when you pedal, pedal X style, uh, giving you, as I said, I think 300% support to your pedaling effort in the top power setting. Uh, and that, that assists you up to 25 kmh if you're in Europe, about 15 mile an hour. Uh, US version will be up to 20 mile an hour. Uh, so that's a, a class 1 e bike, so called. And again, just a bit more detail on your frame suspension here. You can see this rear part, uh, your rear triangle here, is fully suspended using this, this air unit here. Again, as with the front suspension, you've got some finger adjustment here uh, for the recoil and also the sag, um, as it's called. You'll be able to adjust with the shock pump. You can do yourself if you're up to that or your local bike shop will will adjust that to suit your weight uh, that's a, that's like a one-time adjustment really assuming you're keeping roughly the same weight on the bike uh, 
you can't quite see really in there but you measure the sag using a little rubber ring in there uh, that, that's all in the recent Muller manuals there's videos online that will explain all that uh, so that's a really powerful performance line CX motor system and a 500 watt hour battery uh, full details on the kind of range on this battery uh, in the test in the full written test that's a very easy battery to get on and off the frame there's a key just around this far side of it so it's simply a matter of twist the key really easy to get off a lot less fiddly in fact than some of the in-frame integrated batteries which are, are very popular in 2018 models but basically twist the key grab the handle and off that comes so that comes out nice and easy there is also if you don't want to take it off the option to charge it in the frame and you've got an extra set of battery capacity indicators down there too also plenty of height adjustment on the seat this frame is the smaller frame size 48 centimeters uh, but you've got a good range of uh, seat post height adjustment for smaller smaller riders or taller riders within that range that's somewhere in the middle for my 5 foot 8 frame and also here nicely attached conveniently attached just behind you there is this uh, Abu Bordeaux uh, folding lock if I can manage that with one hand You'll see that's a really strong, hefty metal lock, but when not in use, it really, really handily folds up and goes away behind the seat there. Again, another really uh, practical feature of the bike. Taking a quick look at the uh, rear end of the recent Muller Homage GT New Vinci. The main thing that really impresses here is this lovely big rack you'd get plenty of storage on there fantastic for shopping or touring and uh, it really does look solid a nice big frame really really large scale solid welding on it and I'm just going to grab a some a, whisk, a wicker basket just to show you the kind of volume you can get on the back we're just going to put these on take them shopping in a while so that's the kind of thing you can do with this this very big impressive rack uh, also it looks like you would get um, a child seat plenty of space for a child seat on the back there they'd get a really comfortable ride on this fully suspended frame and just another look at the uh, New Vinci hub The way that works is inside there there is effectively a ball bearing very large ball bearing that slides across from where your power comes in via the chain on the uh, transmission side to the drive side uh, and the movement of that ball bearing gives you your ratios uh, the, the ball bearing itself doesn't actually touch the drive surface this hub is full of fluid uh, and it's the compression of the fluid that uh, actually is squeezed so much it becomes solid temporarily under pressure and it's that incredibly that that will drive you forward there is some loss of efficiency there with these new Vinci hubs you get less of a less of a range from your battery um, but the obvious advantage is uh, you've just got a twist grip to operate no gear steps uh, and it's just a really convenient comfortable feature for riding so that's the recent Muller Homage GT New Vinci e-bike uh, fantastic town bike fantastic trail bike fantastic touring bike you can get the full written report more details with a range test and more detail about the bike out on the trail at electricbikereport.com